They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Even today's nutrition guidelines recommend that we all eat breakfast. But is it more important than other meals? Is skipping breakfast bad for you? New high quality studies have shed some light on the topic and we're gonna take a look at them now. The results are very surprising. I'll start by saying that many studies do show that breakfast eaters tend to be healthier. They're less likely to be overweight or obese and have a lower risk of several chronic diseases. However, these studies are so-called observational studies, which cannot demonstrate causation. Uh, in other words, these studies show that people who eat breakfast are more likely to be healthier, but they cannot prove that the breakfast itself is responsible. Now, chances are breakfast eaters have other healthy lifestyle habits that can explain this. For example, people who eat breakfast also tend to eat a healthier overall diet and are leaner than people who skip breakfast. On the other hand, breakfast skippers tend to smoke more, drink more alcohol, and exercise less. So we can see that perhaps the reasons breakfast eaters are healthier on average um, doesn't actually have anything to do with the breakfast itself. In fact, high quality studies called randomized controlled trials have recently investigated if eating or skipping breakfast actually matters. Eating breakfast does not boost your metabolism. Some people claim that eating breakfast kickstarts the metabolism, but this is a myth. These people are referring to the thermic effect of food, which is the increase in calories burned that occurs after you eat. However, what matters for metabolism is the total amount of food consumed throughout the day. It makes no difference at which times or how often you eat. In fact, quality studies show that there is no difference in calories burned over 24 hours between people who eat or skip breakfast. Skipping breakfast does not cause weight gain. As I mentioned earlier, people who skip breakfast tend to weigh more than people who eat breakfast. The theory behind this paradox is that skipping breakfast causes you to become very hungry and eat more food throughout the day and make poorer food choices. It is true that skipping breakfast causes people to be more hungry and eat more calories at lunch. However, this is not enough to overcompensate for the breakfast that was skipped. In fact, some studies have even shown that skipping breakfast may reduce overall calorie intake by up to 400 calories per day. Um, this seems logical because you are effectively removing an entire meal from your diet each day. Interestingly, the eat skip breakfast dilemma was recently tested in a high quality randomized controlled trial. This was a four month long study that compared recommendations to eat or skip breakfast in 309 overweight and obese men and women. Now after four months, there was no difference in weight between the groups. It simply didn't matter whether people ate or skipped breakfast. Skipping breakfast may even have some health benefits. Skipping meals, particularly breakfast, is a common element of many intermittent fasting eating protocols. Basically not eating after dinner and then skipping breakfast the next morning and having your first meal at lunch means you've fasted about 16 hours. Loads of emerging research indicates that intermittent fasting effectively reduces our total calorie intake, increases weight loss and improves metabolic health. However, it's important to note that intermittent fasting does not suit everyone and effects seem to vary by individual. The evidence is clear, there's nothing special about breakfast. Um, the exception is children and teenagers who should all definitely eat breakfast uh, because the growing bodies and growing brains um, have a high calorie demand. But for everyone else, it really boils down to personal preference. If you're hungry in the morning and you enjoy breakfast, then eat it. If you're not hungry in the morning, don't eat it. It's as simple as that. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the big red button below the video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel, and then you can catch all our new videos as they are released.